Take it the pace, push the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. We saw Kemba Walker lighting it up in the first half. He had 12 points, four assists, and one steal. Kenny, let's get your take on Charlotte. Well, their success was largely about second chance points. They crashed the offense's boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. Jack, what was your takeaway on Washington? Well, the reserves came in and played like starters. Gave them some big points off the bench. It'll be no surprise to see them get more minutes in the second half. They definitely deserve it. Though sometimes when you get more minutes, you get exposed. We shall see. That's it for now as the second half's just about ready to go. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Right back after this break. Now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, John Wall. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. Time. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. <laughs> Folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. They lead by five. 2K Sports back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here. Got Shaq. Got Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you back to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 17 points, 12 rebounds, and one block. First two quarters from him were fun to watch. What did you think, Shaq, about New Orleans? Well, the first half belonged to the Brow. Anthony Davis has a shot blocking and rebounding of a big man. It's his offensive skill that really sets him apart. Got the touch, he got the handles. He's something special. Talk to me, Kenny. How did you think Atlanta played? Percentage-wise, they were in the low 30s. That's right, low 30s from beyond the arc. That won't get it done. Every team in the league now relies on some level of consistent production from the three-point line. But if you've dug yourself a hole and you aren't a three-point shooting team, that needs to change. That's it for halftime, as the second half is just about to get underway. It's been a one-sided affair. New Orleans on top, running away with it. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break.
guess that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time. Makes good use of his chances. And so it's San Antonio heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. This big mountain of a man is Shaquille O'Neal, and this hill of a man is Kenny the Jet Smith. DeMar DeRozan putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 12 points and one block. You could really feel how excited he was to be playing for his new team. Teammates and the coach loving it. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? The differential is the free throw attempts. And that's one of the big stories in this game tonight. They were being so aggressive and so smart that all they could do on the defensive end was foul. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Brooklyn? You know, they haven't shot the ball very well. Not nearly enough quality looks. Right now, this game could easily come down to shot selection and how they run their offense. They need to keep the ball moving and generate better looks. And that will wrap up our halftime report, as it's just about time for the start of the second half. Three. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, DeMar DeRozan. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first half in the books. This is Ernie Johnson. This is Shaquille O'Neal. This is Ken Smith. Welcome back. Ken? Ken, as we Ken. break down the action. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. The game was always within a fairly narrow margin, with their largest deficit of the period being six. Their play in the second quarter was inspired as they turned what had been a tight contest into a 10-point ball game by the time we reached halftime. Taking a look at the Pistons, Shaq, what did you think? I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed, the jolt they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Raptors. They're not getting to the line or putting enough pressure on the defense. They have to be much more aggressive pushing the basketball, going hard to the rack. Because if you want the rep to make a call, put them in a the position to make a judgment call. If you're not creating opportunities for contact, you have no chance of picking up points at the line. That's it for now as the second half's just about ready to go. Into the third. Pistons lead by five. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Andre Drummond. 
And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It. It, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with the rejection. And with every block, he's only gotten more and more fired up. Folks, for Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone. Warriors ahead, leading by 14. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. This is the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He had 12 points and two assists. Hey, big fellow, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, the offense is running on all cylinders. Guys are focused, executing, not playing outside of themselves. That's why their shooting percentage was so high. See it up there, Ernie, in the stratosphere. Anyway, they're mixing things up, which keeps the defense scrambling. And, Kenny, let's get your input on the Bulls. To me, they looked out of sync shooting the basketball, under 40% for the first half. Some of it was poor shot selection, but mostly it just looked like they were out of rhythm. For the second half, they need to push more for buckets in transition. Get to the foul line a little bit more. Try to get back in the flow. And that will conclude our halftime presentation. We take you back to Kevin Harlan for the second half. Lead at the end of the quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. You can do about it. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. He deserves a lot of credit, but the D they played on him deserves a little bit of the blame as well. Even when he got hot, they didn't do enough, I don't think, to try and cool him off and... They've been passive when they've needed to be aggressive, and boy, did he make them pay. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. Folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later. Front up 10, live from the FedEx Forum. You're watching 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time to check out the first half of action. It's Memphis out in front at the half. They are leading by four. Kenny, some perspective, please. You can see where the priorities are. <laughs> rebounding, rebounding, and then more rebounding. They made a concerted effort to get the glass cleaned. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, one thing happened that really helped them out. Their bench came in and played absolutely beautiful. Gave him a huge boost. Not just trying to hold court, but actually putting points on the scoreboard. These guys should be starting, Ernie.
And that is just about going to wrap it up as the second half is moments away. Down to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the crew. I won. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later. Front, they lead by a bucket. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. The biggest lead they were able to get out to during the first period was six points. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. Kenny, let's start with you. What'd you think about the Heat? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Well, they struggled in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. And we're just about ready for the start of the third quarter. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you. In a big way on the boards in that quarter. We've got more in store for you right after this. Kind of let them catch their breath. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Hassan Whiteside. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later. I eight, and we'll return shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Contavious Caldwell Pope was on fire in the first half. He had 12 points, two assists, and one steal. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, so far they won the battle of assists. They played more patiently and very unselfish in the first half. Good shot selection and nice flow of offense. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Oklahoma City. Well, they shot under 40% in the half. That tells the story right there. The defense deserves some credit for disrupting them a little bit, but they need to counteract with more creativity on offense. Few isolations, more movement, better shot selection. And we're just about ready for the start of the third quarter. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you.
come. Lakers ahead, up by 16. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. The end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And we'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Utah finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what's your take? Well, how about their ball movement? That was a true definition of team basketball. All five guys moving, all guys rotating. Everyone touching the ball, a bunch of assists, tons of easy baskets. It gives everyone on the floor confidence when you're playing like that. Shaq, how do you think Sacramento played? Way too soft in the paint defensively. They were all laid on their rotations. Obviously, that's a recipe for getting cooked. And you know I like eating that barbecue chicken. They got to do better, Ernie. That's it for halftime, as the second half is just about to get underway. Never forget, oh. as dramatic as they oh. come. A thrilling way to finish this one. Mm, mm, mm. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Jazz running the away with this of our Jordan player of the game, Derek Favors. And his rebounding has been an anchor for him tonight, as usual. He's into double digits again in that department. And it just takes so much pressure off their other players knowing he's got the glass work covered. After two straight losses, they switched it up a bit tonight, giving him a much bigger role, and it's worked out even better than they could have hoped for. For Steve Smith... Craig Anthony and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. And we'll see you next time. After this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. They never got too far behind as their largest deficit in the period was eight. They couldn't hold on to the slim lead they had at the start of the second quarter and headed into the locker room with the game all knotted up. And let us get your thoughts, big fella, on the Clippers. Well, I didn't even know who some of these guys were, but their bench came up with some big shots. Gave the team a lift offensively. It's always possible those guys will see more minutes in the second half, but at the same time, if you're a starter, you're a starter for a reason. We shall see, Ernie. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Denver? Well, it's always a little bit of a challenge playing on the road, but they came in mentally prepared and physically prepared. The energy in the arena was fierce, but they didn't cave in. And now, folks, just moments away from the start of the third quarter. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Nikola Jokic. And he's put on a terrific show of skill 
in the paint. A, a combination of moves, footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. Folks, for our broadcast. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Barry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. And we'll see you next time.